we just received leaked specifications on a series of firmware updates for several Canon cinema cameras. If you own the Canon EOS R5C, the C70, the C300 Mark III, or the C500 Mark II, well then, you're going to want to stick around for the details. But first, please do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, share, choose all notifications, like, comment, and all that great stuff. It's greatly appreciated, means an awful lot to me, but most importantly, it really helps this channel grow. Earlier this evening, an unknown source provided me with what they believed is a leaked brochure about a series of firmware updates coming to many cameras, including the R5C. I hope to have more information on this and validate this in the coming weeks and months. As you can see from the text on the screen here, this is the top of the brochure. The EOS R5C firmware update is due out in late June, one year after the release of the Canon EOS R5C and two years after the release of the Canon EOS R5. And this firmware update, according to Canon, has been developed in response to customer feedback. The most annoying aspect of the R5C is switching from video to photo or photo to video. However, once we've applied this new firmware update, switching from video to photo takes 70% less time, while switching from photo to video takes 40% less time. Autofocus accuracy will be improved by allowing for a variable tracking frame. Head detection is now possible if the face isn't detected. And accuracy is also improved if the subject is wearing sunglasses, a helmet, or is turned away from the camera. Sounds a little bit like the autofocus firmware update that the Canon R5 got in firmware 1.5. Canon added a power saving mode that can increase shooting time by as much as 300%. Though RAW, 8K MP4, 4K XF ABC, and a few other modes won't be available in this mode. I think having a waveform is essential for any video shooter. The Canon R5C does have a waveform, but it's rather small. It's really hard to make out detail. But once the firmware update has been applied, you'll be able to double the size of the waveform being able to make out details a whole lot better, the IRE levels, and of course, what information you're looking at. But not only that, you'll also be able to add a transparency value to it. A nice big waveform with a transparent background, that's my preferred way to shoot. But what about the C300 Mark III, the C500 Mark II, or the C70? Well, they'll also be getting firmware updates as well. The C70 will also have the option to change the size and transparency of the waveform as will the C300 Mark III and the C500 Mark II. Autofocus improvements will come to the C70, but not the C300 Mark III or the C500 Mark II. So there you go, Canon's preparing a series of firmware updates for several Canon cinema cameras, the R5C, C70, C300 Mark III, and of course the C500 Mark II. And for those of you that had purchased either the C70 or the R5C and saw all these firmware updates coming to other cameras, like the R5, feeling that somehow your cameras had been abandoned. Well, that's certainly not the case. So one year after the anniversary or the announcement of the R5C, we're gonna be getting a firmware update that's gonna be coming in late June. And the bulk of this firmware update or all the enhancements and capabilities, the bug fixes, it appears to be focused on the R5C with the C70, C300 Mark III and C500 Mark II also getting a little bit of love as well little bit of love as well, if I can enunciate my words properly. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock here at night. I'm not even wearing my watch, but yeah, 10.30 at night here when I got this information. And again, I've never gotten this, I've never gotten any information from this source before, but um, I just gave you clips of that um, leaked brochure, but in its entirety, it's pretty convincing for somebody to actually fake this. That would be a pretty big deal. But um, yeah, this sounds pretty interesting. Sounds pretty realistic. I mean, after all, NAB 2023 is coming up at the end of this month. We're expecting some new cinema cameras being announced by Canon. And to provide a firmer update for the R5C certainly makes sense. I know we just recently got one, but for the other cinema cameras as well to provide some more enhanced capabilities because the last one we got, what was it last week? It was to do with how Canon Log 3 was applied to certain video modes and resolutions. I believe it was when shooting with either MP4 or XFABC. I can't quite remember, but that was the only update really in that firmware update. So to know that we're getting another firmware update in about three months, well, it's certainly plausible. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. So um, stay tuned as I get more information or validation about this in the coming weeks or months, I'll definitely let you know. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest news and rumors, specifically firmware updates for Canon cinema cameras, like the R5C or C70, 
don't forget to subscribe and choose all notifications. And by choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video like this one here, well, you'll get notified. Just make sure you check your spam and junk mail folder because sometimes those emails coming from YouTube get trapped in there. And all the minor news and rumors, the ones that aren't big enough to have their own separate video, well, follow me on Twitter because, um, well, I tweet those out on a regular basis. And I actually just tweeted something out about a Nikkor, or not a Nikkor, a Nikon 200 millimeter lens by a third party maker. I can't remember the name of the company. So definitely follow me on Twitter. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got more news coming out early tomorrow morning or late tomorrow evening, depending on if you're in Asia or not. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again soon.